Hi guys and welcome to your August 2020. This is going to be the what? Aren't they telling you the beautiful sign of Pisces? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Hello Pisces. If you're new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. And if you are subscribed to the tribe, Al, what's good fam bams? And hello to my members. Okay, so first and foremost, good morning. Yes, I am still a little bit just a little bit under the weather. Please bear with me, okay? So, this is going to carry you from the 23rd through the 31st, okay? So, by now, they would have been uploaded. They, the uploaded schedule is Wednesday through Saturday. Um, but <clears throat> that didn't happen because we're extending these until Monday. And I'm all about reading and current energy. I'm not bringing predictions. I don't predict. So, I read current energy when I read it. The messages are for you. The dates are for me. Okay. So again, if you are returning, welcome back. If you're new, hello. This is going to be a five card reading. We're going to be taking a look at your current partner's energy, the, the energy between you and your partner between that time frame. That time frame can vary. Please don't get caught up in the timelines. When you read it, when you read it, when you watch it, it is for you. Um, and that's what we're doing. All right. So. Um, if you are new, that's what we do on this channel, so we don't have to discuss it. If that's not your cup of tea, then please, I invite you to exit at the gift shop. What you're hearing me shuffle right now is um, uh, gratitude cards that I have. And I've been giving everyone um, a gratitude um, reading, just picking a card for uh, that to be subjected to your interpretation. Um, I won't go into it as it pertains to any love reading, but I did want to give you one. I figured because you guys are necessarily extended, um, that that would be a nice little touch before I get into the blockages. Okay. So I have been sitting here with your energy Pisces and, um, you obviously did resonate a lot with your video last week. One of the things that was interested uh, that was interesting is that you beat Sagittarius. Sagittarius has been maintaining that fourth slot for um, quite a few weeks now, and you guys came in, showed up, and showed out. So, hey, thank you so much for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions. All right, so let's go ahead. Give me spirit, and that was quick. Oh Jesus! And you got this particular gratitude card. Thanks for this day. <laughs> for all of the birds safe in their nests and for whatever this is for life. I love it. Again, thanks for this day for all birds safe in their nests for whatever this is for life. All right. You take that as it resonates. Gratitude. Gratitude. Very, very, very important. I don't know what that was. All right, let's get it popping. So we go in and we start all of the non-extended videos with your blockages. If you are interested in purchasing um, the extended reading because you are connected with Libra, Capricorn, or Taurus, the extension, the extensions, the links to buy, purchase those extensions are is below. You don't have to comment in the comments about anything. All you have to do is is read everything typically in the content creators um, in their world, how to get in contact with them, what they're using. There is really no stone unturned in that description. I mean, it'll be quicker for you to go and scroll down and find out what's going on rather than to comment and ask. So just please be a little proactive. I am very transparent. I don't withhold information as a means for you to contact me. That's a waste of time. So if you're interested in any of that type of information, everything is down there. And it says extended <laughs> videos for purchase. So um, also pinned in the um, comments, guys, will be the link to channel two. Please go over there and watch your Virgo season forward focus and how it is going to affect Pisces and Pisces rising. Let's go. Show me spirit. Woo. Wow. First is regret. <clears throat> I know that I cannot change the past. Uh-oh. Well, I already am feeling that there are some things that have been going on. Woo, Jesus. And then these popped out. This one popped out too. I commit to, pra to the practice of seeing the good in all things. That is love. 
Okay, Pisces. And we have freedom. Whenever I see this, this, this push and pull between love and freedom, it reminds me very much so of a fire energy, namely Sagittarius, or a air energy, namely um, Aquarius, um, where there is a need for love, yet they want to detach. Um, it's not necessarily uh, commitment related, but they do go through these spells where sometimes they can kind of push you out. We talk about that a lot with those type of energies, um, being very absent, not being very present. If that's what you're dealing with and you are an earth sign um, or you're a Libra and you need that presence, this, this I'm already feeling that this could be the riff here. When we are talking about freedom, I possess the power and free will to, free will to create my own happiness. And in those particular um, individuals um, is a strong desire to really want to, um, you know, challenge the status quo and create the happiness the way they feel the way that they should. Unfortunately, it's not always conducive for the other party involved. And what ends up happening is you guys are constantly locking horns about where this relationship is going, how we're going to do this and how we're going to do that. Pisces, you have a very similar energy except in your case, you are extremely sensitive. That sensitivity actually kind of helps you. So your partner will be confused as hell <laughs> or confused AF. But with you, you mean well. And sometimes your intentions does not always see its way through into your relationship. So Pisces, your person... Um, is really struggling right now with understanding that there are some regrets between you. Um, the love and freedom thing could play a factor here, and I really do feel that. We do have envy. Um, I am the same as everybody, but different challenges, but with different challenges um, as a top of the deck. Um, there could be other people in your relationship. Everyone has an opinion. Your friends, you know, uh, Pisces weigh heavily in decisions that you make. You do have a circle of friends that you hold near and dear to your heart. And that could be causing the rift because, you know, we tip, we typically are the happiest with the opposite of what we are, despite of what's being said. Some of us do need the opposite energy to ground us and, and help heal those situations where we need the, the energy of our partner. And those people come in and provide that. And sometimes, Pisces, I do know that you, you do need more of a grounded person. So that's what I'm feeling right here. These uh, um, intuitive messages, uh, universal energy between you guys. There is something that is coming Um I thought that said completion. Look at that. That says connection. Absolutely. The connection is very much so here. You guys are connected. Could be um, in a, a variety of ways, obviously, if it's a love connection. And then this solar plexus chakra is back. Wisdom and power. And if I'm not mistaken, that came out last week for you. Go and watch your last week's video. Everything you need is below. I believe you guys had this will, this wisdom and this willpower. Maybe not. Um, you know, we affirm, please repeat after me or just close your eyes and listen to, listen to the solar plexic chakra affirmations. I love and accept my house. Oh, wow. I, I am authentic. I feel my own powers. I am free to choose in any situation. I direct my own life. Well, the person that you are connecting with, um, Pisces, definitely um, is feeling like there are some things. Um, <clears throat> the world is on is is very much so at the top of this too, but they feel like there are some things that you don't connect. You are not at home in your own home. It's very hard for a person to connect with you when that's what's going on, and no matter how you try to defend it. Unfortunately, when you are in a relationship, it's not just about the I. You gave up those eyes and you started speaking French for a week. So um, some, your partner, you guys are definitely going through things right now where there are lessons. 
the world is here. That's Saturn energy. Um, this is achievement, fulfillment, possibilities, successful conclusions. Um, Saturn has been possibly teaching you and your partner's lessons all up and through here, Pisces. Let's go ahead and get this out. First card out is we have the Knight of Pentacles. Yes, that Knight of Pentacles is very slow. So right off the back, your partner is saying that, you know, you are slow with this pinnacle. And it makes sense because when it comes down to love and freedom and obviously your your wisdom and your soul, if this is applying to you and this is what they're not, this is how they're viewing you and this is what they're not telling you, that makes a lot of sense. Okay, because, okay, we have three. All right, so we do have the Seven of Cups, Pisces. That is very indicative of your energy, unfortunately. We do have Three of Cups in the heart of the matter. Not looking good thus far. Looks like they look at you like you want to keep your options. Um, we do have Knight of Swords. Communication has been off. And we do have Queen of Wands. All right, so top of the deck is Ten of Pentacles. Five of Cups, being very, very much so contributed by Five of, of Wands. Not necessarily the greatest energy, um, Pisces. I can tell you that you're going to be taking a beating. Um, and the reason why you're going to be taking that beating is off of the simple fact that we have a full moon on the second in your particular sign. Um, your communication with your partner is going to be thrown off. You're going to be overly sensitive um, and really having to release, acknowledge, and, and, and conclude some things that no longer serve you. And for some of you, it probably will result in the end of a relationship. I do apologize. Um, I do know that in addition to that, we're smack dab in the middle of Uranus being retrograde. Okay. We also, that's the second planetary alignment. Um, then we are having a Mars retrograde that's going to activate. We're in shadow of right now. That's going to go officially retrograde on the 9th of September. And then uh, I believe about a week after that, um, we're dealing with a Mars retro. I'm sorry, a Mercury retrograde as well. So we have four things. Pisces, as a Pisces sun, if you happen to be one of those very lucky Pisces where your Mercury is also... Um, and Pisces, then unfortunately, um, your communication, your Mercury, <laughs> OMG, is in um, detriment. So there's going to be a lot of feelings going back, things coming up that you guys should have done. That energy is already here. Your partner is feeling like you're very slow to move that particular pinnacle. They feel like you would rather have your options open and focus on having fun and things that are very frivolous. Um, and there, they could have, uh, and they also see you as, um, the Knight of Swords. So you're not necessarily being looked at in the light from your partner when it comes down to them expressing their pentacle type of, um, issues with you. There is a jumping off of the handle and jumping on the defensive. Um, and you're not really trying to listen to what they have to say. Um, but yet there is a lot of passion that still remains here. Um, I'm telling you right now that this person is extremely sad because it's like they can't get through to you because all they really desire right now is to have this Ten of Pentacles with you. They've chosen you. Um, it's very, very interesting that the contributing energy is the Four of Wands. And of course, again, when we put that Four of Wands and that Ten of Pentacles together, they want to get married. And it looks like um, they've chosen you. They do have some regrets. They feel like there's some things here that um, has blocked the love and commitment. Remember, we did get that love card as a blockage. They're really looking at you and they would really like you to understand that you commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things and understanding that they're serious with you and they want something real. And I think that they think that you would rather control the narrative right now, Pisces, and Hold your heart back, okay? Um, the connection is is inevitable. It's undeniable. But they would like for you to en enact some of your wisdom. They feel like you're blocked in that area. Um, your power, you act, you're acting powerless right now. 
Um, and there's a lot of Saturn lessons, like I said, that has been in this relationship that has plagued you. Let me go in with the romance angels. They're very sad right now, Pisces. Um, I have been telling you for a couple of months that this person really wants to take it to the next level. And I don't know exactly why the energy with you guys you guys are embarking on energy um where it's very good for relationships and i mean from a standpoint of it's just time to put up or shut up i mean i don't they're looking at the situation like i don't get it like i don't understand and that card that's not going in is engagement absolutely i already knew that um because <clears throat> that card is a little ripped <laughs> So, clarifying that night, we're going to fan, is the engagement card. No matter how many times, it, sh it shuffles. It's just a little damaged. So, I do believe that um, they feel like you're holding the pinnacle hostage. Um, you refuse to allow this particular relationship to go forward. And clarifying that is, again, the intention that they really want to they want you. They want to spend the rest of their lives with you. You are their soulmate. That's clarifying the seven of cups. And there are no options. Like, they, they're looking at you like, I don't understand what why you're going elsewhere. You're my soulmate. We're soulmates. Help, they're, they're the connection is. And what we put into it, we're going to get out of it. So why, what, what? And, and they feel like you should understand that those options are not viable and look at them as the option only the only option period okay i'm gonna go in with a sacred soulmate in a second the three of cups is retreat rather than to go out with friends right i mean they i, I don't want to make that a friend type card right now but i have to just say when we're looking at the energy of the seven of cups and then we have a three of cups in the heart of the matter this is definitely a people person a people a, a people's card okay i am the same as everybody but different challenges um i feel like that envy has a lot to do with these options and these people but what they would like is to hone back in and center back in on you pisces and they want to retreat they want to disconnect just you oh my goodness in my eye just you and them Okay, they want that particular connection and they don't want anybody else to be involved. Just you and them, just me and you, just us two. Knight of Swords is being clarified by playfulness. Um, they really want to um, bring that playfulness back into the dynamic between you guys. It's been very tense. OK, it's been very tense because it, and to you, it can be, it can feel very heavy. And it can feel suffocating, but this person is serious, Pisces. And the, the the most that you owe this energy or this person that's giving you this energy is to sit down and be honest with them. If you don't like the pressure of somebody making you man up or woman up, then the best thing you can do is just be honest about where you want this relationship to go. It's just as simple as that. Queen of Wands is being clarified by forgiving and learning. So at least um, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. This person is being a complete rock. They are not giving up here, Pisces. Um, and make the effort is clarifying my Ten of Pentacles and getting to know each other is clarifying my Five of Cups. They are extremely extremely sad because they know and then of course let go of control issues is clarifying my four of wands they know that you're trying to control the narrative they would like for you to stop trying to control the narrative for your for your own fear make the effort towards you guys is forever okay let go of the control issues they really want to get to know you they're very sad because you won't open up let me go ahead with the soulmate and get the soulmate cards, and then we're going to get you out of here. So I feel like they really want you. What they're not telling you this week is they really want you to get out of you guys' way. Get out of your own way, but really get out of the relationship's way and allow it to manifest the way it's going to manifest. Because And, and they really they want you to open up. 
They want you to open up. Clarify soul, make spirit. Trust. A need to trust in the divine plan at this time, regardless of the external. That's one. Ooh, reconciliation. There is going to be reconciliation. We have guilt. No, we don't. We have regrets. So there are some things that went on. Um, guilt, shame, and deep remorse over past actions and words are hindering this situation. Let those words go. Your communication is in detriment. Don't hold this person accountable as much as you don't hold yourself accountable for the things that come out of your mouth, Pisces. This is what I'm telling you. I want for you to do some research on yourself. Take the time to go and pull a birth chart and find out what is in detriment. You can't, that's like throwing stones at a glass house. That's not fair. I'm looking at why you're holding back. And if you're, if you're, if you're feeling guilty, let the guilt go, take responsibility and step up, but don't feel guilty about something that you've done and a mistake that you made and hold somebody else to a higher accountability or nail them to the cross about the same mistake that you made because your words didn't match the intensity of their words. That's not fair because as a Pisces, you know, 95% of your communication is in detriment. How dare you hold someone else to a higher standard to communicate with you better and you can't even communicate. That's not fair. So, you know, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell everybody fight fair. I know what is going on right here and that's what needs to happen. They want to, um, they want this to extend to a higher level of commitment and you're in the way. And that's just as simple as that. And they haven't told you and they probably won't be telling you for a while. There's going to be some little pockets in there where they would probably, I'm telling you cross watchers, that would be probably better for you to try to reach out to your Pisces, but um, it's probably going to come to a head coming up uh, next week because especially when this full moon hits. So if you are cross watcher for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, um, I'm going to let you know that your best bet is probably to go ahead at the full moon energy. Um, please, um, uh, you know, whatever no longer serves you, let it go. Even for your Pisces. Whatever your Pisces has made you feel as far as whatever, I see the emotions. Put that in your petition and get rid of it. Um, I'm going to do a video on Channel 2 about how to do that. Don't worry. Pisces, as far as you are concerned, I want you to take your time. Um, if this is resonating with you and only you know why, what you want to say. Um, I want you to also look at your moon and see how that moon plays with your sun sign. But what they're not telling you is that they really want to spend the rest of their, their lives with you. You're the one, you're their soulmate, and they want you to get out of the way of this relationship growing, period. Um, that's what it is. Like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. I will see you guys next week when we do it again. Bye, Pisces.